Loss, grief, and fear become the norm during a pandemic. Tomorrow is no longer predictable. In an attempt to make sense of our new reality, many have questioned how pandemics of the past have come to an end. So it's rarely clear cut when a pandemic ends. It might be that the World Health Organization says that COVID-19 has ended at a pandemic, but that doesn't mean to say that we have a vaccine or we'll have a treatment that's available. The AIDS epidemic devastated the LGBTQ communities of the U.S. and changed society forever. Behavioral changes were put in place and have had a lasting impact. They've had a permanent impact on society. AIDS disproportionately impacted an already marginalized group whom were further stigmatized by the disease's portrayal. As an example, one of the first reports on AIDS on network TV news. The lifestyle of some male homosexuals has triggered an epidemic of a rare form of cancer. The AIDS crisis highlighted stark inequalities and prejudice that riddled American society. Experts believe the coronavirus has done the same today. What epidemics and pandemics tend to do is underline factors in society that are already there. So we've seen, for example, you know, the increased vulnerability of black people, of um, uh, ethnic minorities to this particular disease. Experts point to the social end to the epidemic as an important lesson for today. COVID-19 will likely have a lasting impact on society with behavioral changes. No matter how devastating the toll, pandemics do end.